Welcome to this week's episode of the Solana Changelog, where we talk about changes in the Solana developer ecosystem over the past week. I'm joined by Jacob and Joe from the developer relations team at Solana Foundation. Yeah, and the first immediate highlight we want to bring you guys is the election for Stack Exchange moderators is almost up. By the time this video is out, there'll probably be one day left. So go vote for moderators. Give us some votes, get some people elected. It'll really help the Stack Exchange. Yeah, that would be super helpful if we have moderators, both uh, altruistically from the community as well as internally. It would be great. Um, there's also a last week we made a announcement about, hey, there's going to be a change whenever you close programs. You'll be asked, like, are you sure? Because it was kind of too easy to close programs previously. Mm -hmm. um, there's also now a, a proposal to allow you to redeploy closed programs or access to the PDAs that a program has access to if you accidentally close it. Definitely check that out. Link in the description below. Um, moving on to commit highlights that happened this past week. There is a new cap for the number of allocations that you can make per transaction. So what does that mean? Uh, so there's something called a realloc. Whenever you call a program that can change an account size, you could use realloc to change a account up to, uh, I think it's 10 megabytes. Um, now, like in, the amount of realics that you can do in one single transaction is capped at a maximum of 20 megs. So just look out for that. Uh, if your program, if you have transactions that interact with your program that do allocations above that, make sure you make a change in a, ahead of this feature launch. Oh, sounds great. And also support has been added for the NFT token standard, which is an alter alternative token standard to the Metaplex NFT token standard. And support for that has been added on the Solana Explorer. So if your NFT was created with said NFT token standard, you'll be able to see it live and pretty on the Solana Explorer. Um, yeah. Second change in the Web3.js package is last week we spoke about version tra transactions and now support has, be has been added to um, a couple methods on the connection class for that. And those will be the get transaction, get pass transaction, get block and get transactions now support um, version transactions. Awesome. And now obviously the highlights of the week part. We have officially released from Dev Relations at Solana Foundation some digestible coding tutorials for you guys. They're real easy to follow. They're real short too. We're going to be making new ones in the future. So check those out and feel free to reach out to us on Twitter and let us know what kind of stuff you want to see. But we hope it helps you guys out. Yeah, just to reiterate that those, are, those videos are called Solana Bytes. You can find them on the YouTube channel for Solana Foundation. Um, we'll be releasing them. Joe is the awesome developer that is behind all of them. Um, so that concludes all of our changes for this week. Head out, check us out next time for more changes as we go week by week in this change log. Adios. Ciao.